This is Ken Loomer with my Buddy Rich Centennial History Moment. In this picture that you are seeing, this was taken by me in 1969 in Hartford, Connecticut. This was my very first Buddy Rich concert I ever attended. And it was because of my father who told me he was going to let me see the world's greatest drummer with the greatest band in the land. And he was certainly right. In this picture, you can see Buddy playing his Slingerland drum set. And you can see that he was playing the 4x14 chrome over wood Buddy Rich Slingerland model. And in 1970, I actually bought this exact same drum set at Sam Ash Music Store in New York City. But let me explain a few other things first. In this picture, picture of Buddy Rich at Ronnie Scott's Club in 1969, the same year as the other picture. This was taken in November of 1969 at Ronnie Scott's Club in England. And in this picture, you can clearly see right here the 4x14 Slingling Buddy Rich model snare drum. And Buddy played this snare drum for about three years, 69, 70, and part of 71. And in this picture, you can see the uh, Buddy Rich cymbal stand, and it has no tilter on it. And you can see the Zildjian cymbal snaps on top. So this is taken in November of 1969. And a year later, this picture right here of Buddy, taken in November of 1970. And this was in uh, Berlin. And you can see this concert. This is a famous concert uh, that Buddy did. You can see this on YouTube. And right there, you can see he was still playing that 4x14 Slingerland snare drum, chrome over wood. And as you can see right here, look at the splash arm. Buddy always used a Rogers splash arm, which he always liked. And of course, he always played the Rogers foot pedal. And again, as you can see right here on the Buddy Rich cymbal stand, no tilter. And now we're going to go see my drum set right here, which I got in August of 1970. I ordered it over at Sam Ass Music Store. And this is it. This is the Slingerland 80 in Buddy Rich model. Slingerland, of course. And, of course, it has the Marine Pearl. Now Slingerland, what they did starting in 1968 when Buddy joined Slingerland, they put a blue tint to the Pearl. And the reason for the blue tint was so it would not yellow. Because before that it was, they called it white Marine Pearl and of course the white would yellow over the years. But with this blue tint that they started in 1968, and it really helped stop the yellowing. I mean, it still looks very, very vibrant, and it's the best looking marine pearl I think ever made. I wish there was a company that would make this exact marine pearl, but nobody does. Slingelin uh, had the DuPont. A chemical company make this pattern for them and it was exclusive for Slingelin. So let's start here with the bass drum. This is a 14 by 24 inch bass drum. And of course it has the marine pearl inlays. And Slingelin, which was the first company to do this, they had double disappearing spurs. 
and they patented these spurs because it came at an angle and they certainly do work. Right there you can see a close up of these double spurs. And what was new to Slingerland back in 68 they used the brand new Tom holder, the Saddlematic Tom holder. Now this one in 1970 was all chrome and they were like one of the first companies to use memory brackets. You can see one right here, right there, and right over here. Now you have to remember this drum set is 47 years old. And I've used this drum set many, many times with my big band. So if you want to hear this with my big band, you can certainly see it and hear it on many of the YouTube videos of my Ken Loomer Big Band. And here it is. This is the Rogers Splash Arm right here. And one of the reasons Buddy of course liked it because there was no tilter. No tilter. Let me put it, you can see it right there. No tilter right here. And this is a Rogers which he always used with his Slingerland drum kit. When Buddy rejoined Slingerland from 1968 to 1978. And of course, you gotta have the Zildjian cymbal snaps right over here. Now this is a 9 by 13 inch tom. And the way Slingerland made it was maple, poplar, and maple with solid maple reinforcement rings. That's the way these drums were made in 1970. And let's get a close-up look at the two floor toms that came with the set. These are, of course, 16 by 16. And you can see that marine pearl that has that bluish tint to it. And it still looks brand new. I kept these drum set in pretty much mint condition, even though I used them constantly. I just took super care of these drums. There you can see. At that time, of course, Slingland had the silver and black badge. And here's another view of the double spurs, disappearing spurs. They just go right inside the bass drum. And of course, this is the symbol arm for the ride symbol. And now let's take a look at some of this hardware over here. This is the Buddy Rich symbol stand, which I ordered with no tilter. You can see over here, no tilter. And there's the base. And the beauty of this stand, once you fold it up, it, it can fold up just down to 22 inches high. And because of its, uh, its heavy gauge steel, and it had a very low center of gravity, so the stand, man, you can hit it as hard as you want and would not ever move. <laughs> and you can just watch any video of Buddy and he's hitting these stands with the symbol on it as hard as possible and it never moves. And of course it has the Zildjian symbol snaps right here. Just a great stand. And like I said, oh yes, I gotta show this here. Back then they had the uh, black and gold sticker that they put on every badge. 
on every stand right over here. And now, let's get over here and look at this fantastic snare drum. And I want to let everybody know that I will be playing this drum set in part two. But for now, I'm just going to give you a little history of these drums. Now, this is the Schlingelin Buddy Rich model 4x14 chrome over wood and if you want to see Buddy play this exact drum set of course not this set but one exactly like it just put in Buddy Rich green sleeves and it's a great video and it shows a very clear close-up of this snare drum and this exact same set and what makes this set unique, of course, uh, the, the hoops, they were chrome over brass, and these were what they call the straight edge hoops, right here. Some people call them the stick chopper hoops. Just an incredible sound and snare drum. And of course, the hi-hat pedal that Buddy played, this is called the Dynamo hi-hat pedal. Right here. And these drums were made in Niles, Illinois at their factory. And Slingerland at the time when Buddy rejoined them in 1968 was the world's largest manufacturer of drums. That's when the Slingland factory, Slingland factory was in Niles, Illinois, and the Slingland family owned the company. And what's unique about this, each of the feet had spikes, and by turning this knob here, you can put on the spikes, or you can just turn it up, and screw this upward and all you have is just the rubber hitting it so you can have spikes or rubber on this and it also has right over here you can see it better from this angle it's got the wheel that you can adjust the tension and this Again, had a low center of gravity, and this hi-hat stand never moves. It's just very solid. And of course, it had the black and gold sticker on. And the snare stand was called the Rocket Stair Stand. And it has the exact same base as the Buddy Rich symbol stands. Very unique design to this. Let's see if I can show it to you here. It has a lever right here. You can just push it down so you can pop the snare drum on or off very easily. It's got this lever right here. So let me pop it up again. Yeah, you can see it right there. And of course, what Buddy Rich used, of course, is the Rogers foot pedal. This is the one-piece foot pedal. It's not the split Rogers foot pedal. This is what Buddy preferred. And Buddy used this pedal from 1960 to the end of his career in 1987. It was the pedal of choice. And let me give you a few features of this amazing pedal. As you can see right here, you can actually adjust the spring tension 
while you're playing because it's, it's, it comes right up, straight up here, right here. And it has this post here. You can adjust the angle of the uh, footboard here. You can make it go down or higher by these two set screws here. And also, you can adjust the, the actual footboard itself with this here, and there's another screw over here. With, you can use a uh, drum key. You can push this thing up closer or further away. Then there's another set screw over here. You can angleize it if you want to angleize the footboard to left or right. And of course, you can adjust the angle of the of the beater with this over here, this set screw. Now of course this is way, way in advance. This is 1960. This kind of adjustment was completely unheard of. But I would say this pedal has more adjustments than any other pedal ever made. It's too bad Rogers is no longer in business. Because this is an incredible pedal. It's extremely smooth. And of course, Buddy always used the uh, wood beater. And it's, of course, the strap model, which I love. So this is the exact same set that Buddy played in 1970 and in 1969. Exactly. And of course, you gotta have the drum throne. There's a swingling drum throne. Marine pearl finish. With the white seat. And like I said, I bought this set at Sam Ass Music Store in August of 1970. And of course the reason I got this set exactly was because of this very first concert I ever saw in 1969. That was the drum set that he played right down to the exact Rogers splash armor and Rogers foot pedal, that 4x14 snare drum. And you can see on the wall here I have a, a poster. I'll just zoom in on that poster right here. There it is. Buddy Rich Chrome Snare Drum. From a Slingland ad. So this is an incredible drum set. So in this Buddy Rich Centennial History moment, I wanted to showcase this drum set that these Slingland drums were really a fantastic drum set. The tone and the quality, look at how long it's lasted. This set's 47 years old. So please watch part two as I will be playing this exact drum set in honor of the great Buddy Rich Centennial. So this is Ken Loomer saying happy drumming.